Okay, so welcome back. Um, this video, we're going to talk about something that may not seem to be a real big deal, but actually in the engineering world, uh, if you're going to do any work on anything, electrical electronics, at some point you're going to run into what are called CSV files, and they are extremely useful, extremely important. Um, if you don't know about them, you're missing out on a lot of things. So we're going to talk about uh, briefly, what is a CSV file, what can you use it for, and why is it really important? So, a CSV file is basically a text file. And the good thing about CSV files uh, is that you can interface them, you can generate CSV files uh, for just about any electronics or electrical application you can think of. Um, for example, you can uh, send out from your scope whatever trace you see on the screen in the form of a CSV text file. And it has uh, every sample point and every time in it. And it, it basically is a file that represents that waveform. And then you can take that and do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can use it with a Raspberry Pi over a network. You can grab data, put it in a CSV file. You can use, uh, we showed in another video, where you can generate a CSV file from anywhere and send it into your signal gener generator, your waveform generator, uh, and send that out from your waveform generator into your electrical circuit. It's really quite wonderful. I mean, with the, we showed in another video also with the oscilloscope, how you can connect from your computer to the scope over LAN and you can just grab whatever is on the screen in the scope and bring it into your computer as a CSV file, and then you can do whatever you want with it. Um, same thing with your waveform generator. You can use it to generate waveforms. Uh, if you've got a lab jack, uh, we showed in another video how you can use CSV files with a lab jack. Uh, you can use it with MATLAB, just about anything you can, you can use CSV files for. And ultimately, probably what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking the data in a CSV file and manipulating it, either in a spreadsheet like Excel or OpenOffice, or we've shown in other videos like in C Sharp or C++, you can uh, write your own software that grabs data from a CSV file and parses it and uses it in your software. The, the uses are absolutely endless, and really these are very simple files. So I think it's really important that you understand what they are and how to use them um, so you can be uh, prepared to take advantage of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a CSV file, and here I've got Notepad++. Again, an absolutely wonderful free uh, editing software, text editing, and you can edit different, you know, different languages like C Sharp, C++. Uh, that's a whole, a whole nother discussion in itself. But it accepts CSV files natively. So I've got a CSV file that I generated from one of my softwares. So all I need to do is drag and drop my CSV file into Notepad++. And here's my CSV file. I drop it, and there you go. That's all a CSV file is. And if you look at it, you can see there are values with a comma between them, which is why they call it CSV, or comma-separated values. It's basically a text file, and each line has values that are separated by commas. And this has got a title here that says the first value is time, the second value is V1 or voltage. So it's just a bunch of different samples of a voltage waveform versus time. It goes from 3 seconds up to 6.6533 seconds. There's a 1,000 points. So I've basically grabbed uh, about 3 seconds worth of a waveform. And um, it's now in a CSV file. So what I can do is anything I want. I can you know, change this value. I can make it 1 if I want. So I can go in and I can tweak these values. I can, you know, erase a bunch of these. Um, I can do whatever I want. I can modify the waveform and then save it and use it somewhere else. So really, it's a very, very simple and very useful um, format that I can use uh, to analyze waveforms or generate waveforms or whatever I want. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take the exact same CSV uh, file that we just looked at, and we are going to bring it into Excel. Now, you might think, well, I bring it into Excel. I've got to format it and all that. No, you don't. What I'm doing is I'm just clicking and dragging on the exact same CSV, and it's coming into Excel, and I drop it, and there you go, just like with Notepad++, it understands the CSV. And in fact, it also formats it and puts the first value in the front of the comma, the, in front of the comma, in the time uh, column, makes a separate column for each, and uh, fills them into each column. So now, what I can do is I can graph it, I can analyze it, I can do equation to do whatever I want. So what we're going to do first is we're going to click and drag to select both columns of data. And let's say I want to make a graph of this. So I've got these both selected. I need to insert a chart. So I'll go up to this charts area, hit this little tiny drop down, and I'm going to need an XY scatter chart. Unfortunately, with spreadsheets, uh, you got to do an XY chart, not just a regular line chart, in order for them to plot both. But, you know, that's just an annoyance. So I'll click on XY scatter, go down here, XY scatter, and click the one without the points, just the smooth uh, between the points. And there you go. I've got my waveform uh, of values versus time. And I'm going from zero seconds to seven seconds. So let's, we can zoom in here, format axis, and I'm going to go to fixed of three seconds, close, and you can see it zooms in. So I'm going from three seconds to seven seconds. And this is a simple sine wave that I grabbed out of uh, one of my pieces of hardware. So again, comma separated value files, simple text files, very, very, very useful. I encourage you to take a look at you know, some of the specs around CSVs and what the different options are and what you can do with them. So anyway, hope this helps. Take care and have a really good day. Thanks.